Vern, you said last week that you can't afford to concede 50 points in, in one of the test matches. So you started strongly tonight, but obviously another 50 plus on the board. What, what was your take on how that played out? I think it's fair to say we're disappointed. Disappointed because I think just up till the 25th, 30th minute, we were still in the game, but starting to concede penalties. 35th minute, we had five of the last penalties were against us for offsides and um, ruck offences. So you know, we made it so hard for ourselves. And when we did compete, um, I thought we competed well. So the analysis from the game is really, really simple. Just take away that rubbish that we gave the opposition team and just believe in what we can construct, not watch them play, but actually play a bit more ourselves. Were you surprised then that some of that stuff wasn't improved from last week, or is it new issues that you need to address? Yeah, I think we need to change a few habits. You know, I think we need to start taking into account that these things hurt, hurt us if we want to be competitive. So we need to take that on board, we need to shift it. Uh, Vern, just on the um, on the jersey situation with the vaccinate message, it, so it didn't come out um, tonight in the end. What was the rationale? Yeah, like I said last week, it's it's a complex issue. So the major sponsor offered the, the spot uh, for vaccinate Fiji. Um, but there were the questions you know, around whether or not that was a directive, um, and it came back to being a choice, but. It was all about awareness, and I think the week of of every day, people talking about it, I think it got, got aired quite well. I think the awareness worked, so it came back to the major sponsor, uh, the space on the jersey, and everyone thought, well, perhaps the, the job's been done, we'll just put the major sponsor back on and, and just move on with that. So that's, that's effectively what happened. So that was just a whole team decision, was it, players? Um... It was, it was with, the, with the union with the, the CEO and board and, and the sponsor. So if you can understand Fiji always is suffering a little bit uh, because of the COVID and, and the fact that there is no tourism and there's no activity for, for the airline. Everybody's aware of that. The players know that it's the major sponsor and, and they're hurting. And uh, this seemed to be the only, seemed to be the fair way of sort of representing you know, that major sponsor. Vern, two tests against the All Blacks. Where do you think the side is as you look towards the end of your tour a bit later on? Yeah, well, if we look at the components of the, of the game and where you need to be competitive, I think physically we're OK. You know, if it's dynamic speed and explosive energy, we're OK, but we don't maintain it. So we're going to have to work on ourselves a little bit around that endurance side of things. We need to... The All Blacks went to driven malls and double pushes at scrums to try and get penalties and work their way down the paddock. We obviously a little bit vulnerable there, that would, that's been identified, so we need to work on ourselves <clears throat> to become better in those those parts of the game. But there's other parts of the, parts of the game I thought we dominated, and I thought we put in some good defensive plays in the second half together. <coughs> I thought it was, it was one of those games, we missed 20 minutes again, and the 20 minutes was the second part of the first half. It wasn't the last 20, the last 20 I thought we were more competitive. So it's making sure that we uh, work on those 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 parts of the game. Um, and I'm really confident, I think there's a, there was an awareness, we had a bit of a get-together after the game, and it's pretty clear what we need to do to get better, to become more competitive. Is your coaching staff locked into 2023? Because it feels like you're, you're sort of building something as a group. As yeah, a... I, I think we're, we all want to see the team through to 23. Um, everybody's committed, we're not going to let this go. I think there's, there's potential, real potential with this group, and we'd like to see them, you know, move forward and exploit the potential they've got. Um, and you never know, if they, if we can get away, of, get rid of a few bumps and gnarly bits on them, you know, perhaps they'll, they'll be able to put in an 80-minute performance and uh, the World Cup is really what, we're, what we'll be looking for. Leonie, do you get that feeling as well, that the, the, there's something special building in this group? Uh, yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, there's a lot of young boys coming in as well. I think um, we showed uh, today that uh, we are capable of uh, playing against the Taiwan Nations. Uh, like the coach said, uh, we have to work on uh, pizza, technical stuff, and the technical stuff to compete in that uh, level, same level.
Vern, I know, I know you gave a wee explanation before, but uh, are there players in the group that don't want to wear the, the vaccinate <coughs> decisions that created distractions within the team this week? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to dodge the question, but I can't answer for, for, for those. I mean, obviously it wasn't unanimous, the whole, the whole thing, but um, it's, all, it's all about that choice. And, and the main thing was the, the sponsor wanted that awareness. Um, the messages got through and then, so it was, it was a democratic process, which I mean, I'd take the hats off to everybody. I think what we wanted or what everybody wanted was achieved. Uh, hey Vern, just wanted to ask. Oh, sorry, just said. I just wanted to ask about the the three Australian-based players that came through into camp this week. What do they offer provide to the team, um, particularly Frank at, at halfback? Yeah, well, once again, if you we forget that we only got a full squad two days out from uh, from this test. So, and, and what they offered was the fact they can play several positions. Frank went to wing when Moses came on. It gives us the ability to 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 bring players on in different positions, they can cover different positions. But they're very good players. I mean, they're playing at a good level Super Rugby and if we'd had them earlier on, it would have you know, built that little bit more co cohesion and confidence within the group. But it was great having them. And um, you know, the ne next time we come together is up north and hopefully we can get everybody on board for that. Um, the only for you, um, how, how do you feel about playing the All Blacks? Would you like to see um, regular fixtures against against the, the All Blacks? How would that benefit you guys? Uh, yeah, I think so. Because um, uh, the, intens the intensity was a bit uh, uh, high. Um, I think uh, playing uh, playing against them regularly, I think I uh, will help the will help the team and uh, help the boys play into, to that uh, kind of intensity that uh, they played uh, every year. So uh, I think that will really help the boy the boys and the a team as well going forward. Uh, Vern, not, not to labour on the question, this is more just for clarification because I think when I spoke to you a few days ago, there was a decision made on Monday with the its choice message, uh, it's your choice message. So was there a day when that changed? Because there was obviously a release coming out from the union that that was the decision. Was there a day that that decision changed yeah. and, and to wonder why that wasn't communicated by the union? So once again, I wasn't, um, those conversations were been had with, with the sponsor and the, and the union. Um, I wasn't wasn't aware until things were decided really yesterday that that's what that's what the stance was going to be. Um, so I think, like I said to you, I think it was um, I think it was common ground found, and and hopefully you know everything everybody's happy. So you, you guys found out yesterday. So we found out. Yeah, I found out yesterday. Uh, Vern, I know you came into this job, Vern, over here, um, knowing what the schedule looked like with Fiji, knowing what some of the challenges were around fixtures, but mm. how much easier would it be now if you had a handful of test matches coming up before November to build on what you've put down here so far? Yeah, I think it's for, um, I think all the coaches, perhaps the Tongan and Samoan coaches the same. You're starting to, to get somewhere, then you break up and move, move away. So how many games have we got until the next World Cup? I'm not sure if we can get four in November. But obviously, if we're able to have windows of uh, sustained game and and, um, and, and analysis uh, post game, you know we're obviously going to be able to shift the group quicker. So, but that's the way it is. So what we have to do generally, what happens is we work with the clubs that these guys go back to. Uh, we we get hold of them individually. There's a couple of guys up north that help us with that, and we try and we we identify where we are now, and then. We know that these are grown men, and if, if they want to make a shift, they make a shift in certain areas within, in their skill sets and, and, or, and or conditioning. And when we come together, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll see growth there. So, and then the big learnings, I mean, to be able to play the All Blacks, that's a reference. You know, you can go back and say, well, this is, you know, this is where we need to be. So, yeah, it'd be nice, but it's not the case. So we'll just work other ways, other, other manner of ways to get where we want to be.